Okay, got this washed out and everything. Got all the stuff I needed. You know, need some extra flare fittings and stuff like that. It's all good now. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a vacuum tube from this little glass bottle right here. Not too hard. What you do is you take some uh, epoxy. This is PC7 here. All right, just pop it open. So, you're gonna use a mixing stick, you know, this is a popsicle stick. Same thing, you know, no big deal. Take a PC7, what you do is you take uh, half of one can, which is, uh, this is the A can, I think. This is the A can. It's gray. Right here. Take some of this. And, uh, when you put down, put down like uh, half of what you want because the other half is going to be the uh, black shit in here. You got gray stuff, black stuff. Mix it together. Make some sticky. Get uh, that there. So, what we're going to do, going to close that up. Sealed. Pop this open. A little more sticky. It's, uh, apparently you can't see in there, but it stinks like ammonia. Here's Bond Seal Fill or whatever the hell. I don't know. Oh, there's a in front here. And it's a lot more uh, liquid like. It's a lot more viscous. Oh. It's a lot more like uh, something that would flow versus something that's solid. That's where I'm trying to find. Yeah. So you do is you just get this stuff out. Like so. Fight with it a little bit. It's alright. Like that. or something like that. That's about half, I guess. No. So, we got a decent amount here. Right now. Put on this here. Need some more. Just mix it up, you know. You know what you do is you, uh, see the center is here. Camera a wee bit closer here. Hmm. Oh, a sec. Alright, just take it, mix it. No hard work or anything like that to do. And I'll just grab the stuff, mix it together, whatever. And, uh, do it till it becomes a uh, then it comes a uh, dark gray looking uh, paste here as you can see so I'm going to pause this real quick come back okay so now as you can see it's all good you know, just mix it until it becomes uniform enough then what we do is take a little bit of it off. Just try and get a little bit here on this uh, crap popsicle stick. Like that. Take a uh, stainless steel bolt. In this case, it's a quarter inch, uh, <clears throat> quarter inch uh, dash 20, whatever in the hell that means. Stainless steel washer and a uh, rubber gasket. Right here, cut out from uh, some uh, gasket rubber. Go buy that in a hardware store or whatever, no big deal to uh, acquire. And just <clears throat> take it, put it on. So, don't get too crazy with it. Yeah, at the same time, you want to have a decent amount of it there. 
to do the job that it's supposed to do. So, it's all at your discretion, no precision thing here, no particular recipe uh, involved. Need to. Pick the towel. I don't have to do this, but <clears throat> I want to keep some of that epoxy off the electrode. So you can do that right there. Uh, if you want to be like really crazy about cleaning the uh, electrode or something like that, you could probably dip it in acid and then put the gasket on there and wear uh, rubber gloves and stuff like that. Uh, me, I don't care. I'm going to bake the thing anyway, so I'm not going to be that big of a deal. So then what you do is you get one of these big old pliers here or whatever so you can reach down into that thing right here. Try to do this in front of the camera. Hold on a sec. So what you want to do, go in like that. Fight with it a little bit because they want the uh, pliers there to get the uh, crap on it too much, but that's unavoidable at this point. Right there, just drop it in. And press it down in a little bit. There you go. Big deal. And, uh, trying to debate whether or not I should use a uh, stainless steel washer. Probably not. You know, then pull that through a wee bit right there. That'll help. That epoxy right there alone would probably be enough. You might not need a gasket, but at least the gasket helps prevent the uh, epoxy from uh, screwing up the uh, electrode so the stuff doesn't build up around it or whatever. Uh, epoxy is probably not the best. You probably want something that's more um, vacuum friendly. You know, something that doesn't uh, give off some kind of weird hydrocarbon based gas and coat the freaking electrodes and crap it up but this is what I got you know do it on the cheap and you know what if it die if it dies down on me or breaks down or something you can always go get another one so it's not that big of a deal later on I'm gonna be do some other stuff to show you that was good stuff on that so by that little bit right there actually take that here. This is what I did last time. Can't exactly remember. Been so long ago. A few months. Do that. Absolutely uh, complicated, right? What is that now? Like that. I'm trying to get too much here on the end. Too much uh, epoxy because you want to have a good contact with this thing. Speaking of good contact, you should have like a wet towel or something so you can, if you get any of this stuff on your hands, you can just rub it out off the uh, on a wet towel. That way, when you touch this, you don't uh, screw it up too much. You want electrode to be clean. And what's going to happen is as this thing gets compressed. It's not. It's gonna stop turning on me. So, er, sure you use a wrench, you know. But I prefer to screw around with it. Up a little bit excess off. Kind of turn like this. Just so it doesn't go over top there as much. I don't know. Learn as I go. And uh try and this point is pretty much sealed. Right here. Ooh. Hear that? Hold on. Hear that? 
that's the glass uh, stra <laughs> stressing a little bit. So we're going to leave that alone. Now you might be thinking, why the hell did I make such a, a huge amount of epoxy? Well, it wasn't just for this here. Is that also is actually for the uh, top. So we're going to be doing that real short. Just want to quick get this here. A bit. Oh, I'm going to pause this and we're going to go to the uh, 